The scope of the work for this project is very different to the construction work the company has traditionally undertaken. The site is approximately 450 kilometers or 270 miles away from Broome, the largest town in the region. The development site is located in a national park. The nearest small town is Emerald Falls with a population of around 2,700. The only access to the area is via the Gibb River Road, which is a dirt road. The area in which the hotel is to be constructed is mostly rocky landscape. During the wet season, it is hot with a lot of tropical rain which can be heavy and torrential at times, resulting in parts of the Gibb River Road washing away due to flooding. The rain also affects the soil in the area, resulting in a clay-like consistency that will need to be analyzed prior to construction. In the cooler, dry season, there are often water shortages resulting in water restrictions. Currently, the Western Savannah site area has no ICT accessibility and satellite phone communication is most reliable. The state government is hoping to have telecommunications infrastructure up and running by the end of the first year of the project. It will be important to gain an understanding into local indigenous populations, their culture, customs and practices in relation to the land. This is essential to ensure that construction of the hotel does not disrupt the traditional way of life and its coexistence with the regional ecosystem. The region is governed by a local council where several indigenous groups are represented. The council acts as the key decision authority in all activities that affect the region. There is also an expectation that local people will be employed at various times during and after the construction phase of the hotel and hotel-related facilities in order to develop sustainable skills to foster employability in regional projects. Consideration needs to be given to possible waste and any toxic materials that are brought into the area. All materials used on site would need to be inspected and approved by the Department of Environment and Conservation to ensure their durability and sustainability and to meet specifications. As such, some of these materials would need to be imported from countries outside of Australia. It is also a requirement that OASIS's contractors and subcontractors appointed to the project meet state government legislation and workplace health and safety regulatory requirements. This information represents my brief notes taken on site after a short visit to the area. Further, in-depth review from the project or risk manager is required in considering other factors that may impact on project delivery.